This goes out to all you breakfast burritos. What's up, amigos? Today we're looking at the aerodynamics of a NACA 0012 at 6 degree angle of attack. So in this playlist, you'll find other airfoils, including NACA 0012s at 3 degrees and 0 degrees, and other degrees as well. So this is at 6 degrees. We've pitched it quite a bit. And first of all, the pressure, if you compare this video to the other videos, you can see that the pressure on the suction surface, or the top surface of this airfoil, is now very low. Not only have I changed this bar because the pressure is so much lower, the gauge pressure obviously, but it's also much more widespread. So it goes from pretty much the leading edge to like almost probably 40% of the cord. And the leading edge stagnation line is well below the leading edge line. And there's quite a high pressure here. And this pressure distribution uh, orbit that we're going to be seeing, it shows just how much of the airfoil is in this very low pressure. Now, interestingly, the lift coefficient is 0 0.65 at this angle of attack, which is quite high. It's double what it is at 3 degrees. So now we're not really, uh, we don't have any inefficiency in lift being produced from 3 degrees to 6 degrees. So that's good. And that's because the entire airfoil is, it has attached flow. The drag coefficient is a little bit higher. It's at 0 0.0115 instead of 0. Uh, sorry, 0. Point, I guess that's right, 0 0.0115 instead of 0 0.0094. Now, the main difference, difference in the drag coefficient between the 3 degrees and the 6 degrees case, so this case, is that the pressure um, drag coefficient has doubled. It's gone from 0 0.0029 to 0 0.0051. The friction coefficient is about the same at 0 0.064. So let's orbit this bad boy. And we can see that even the trailing half of the airfoil is, has still got quite a low pressure compared to the undersurface. And that leading edge stagnation line is pretty thick now. So like that entire region here, that's at a very high pressure. That only not only increases the pressure drag, but also increases the lift. And these streamlines show not only the angle of the flow, but also how fast it's moving. So the free stream velocity is 90 meters per second. That puts this airfoil and all the other airfoils at a Reynolds number of 6 million. So the, the flow is definitely turbulent. And so this, the stagnation line, you can see it's quite, there's quite a, a big region of stagnation at the front. The back, there's the streamlines are angled down quite a bit. So that means you're producing quite a bit of lift. And the velocity of the flow going over the surf, of the, over the suction surface is significantly higher than at three degrees and at zero degrees. And this is the velocity distribution over the airfoil surface. Now, one interesting thing to note is that look at the, it's very close to the leading edge here. The velocity is very high, it's the maximum is here. Whereas the rest of the airfoil, it starts to de decelerate over the suction surface. That means that the velocity, streamlines have accelerated the most pretty much at the start of the airfoil before decelerating. Let's rotate this and see what the underside looks like. It's not moving very fast, the flow on this underside, and it's fairly uniform. You can see it's, it's all about 60 to 80 meters per second. And then obviously you have the stagnation line, which it has a very slow flow. So like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. And do you want a super easy way to make your experiments more accurate? It's really easy. Just measure the temperature, barrage pressure, and humidity of the air you are using. Most aerodynamics assume, they assume that the air is 1.2 or 1.225 kilograms on a given day, but it's not. Every day is different. Here are some graphs showing it can easily be 2 or 3% different every day. So if you want to make your experiments 2 or 3% more accurate, make your life easy, and get our atmosphere hawk. It accurately measures the temperature, barrage pressure, and humidity, and gives you a very accurate density. Link in the description. Peace out, amigos.